Hey guys, good morning. Boston, Massachusetts is checking in. How y'all doing? Oh my gosh, guys. It was a storm last night, guys. We must have had a mini tornado through this piece. If I wasn't filming, I would have took down, um, showed y'all all the trees that's down. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Even I had to go and clean up my um, driveway because it was trees down, limbs down in the driveway. And I'm like, you know, snow, okay, tree, limbs, oh, wow. Oh, my gosh, guys. I got to show y'all this. I'm not bullshitting, guys. This is serious. It's still popping, too. Look at that, guys. You see those trees down over there? All through here. Thank God nobody was out. Look at that. Wow. It was serious business last night, guys. Look at that. A big one. A big tree limb. A branch. That wasn't even a limb, guys. That was a branch. I guess extreme severe weather. Oh, my gosh, guys. Did y'all see all of that messy mess? Oh, my Lord. You know, I sleep like a lamb. So, I didn't hear anything. It's just what I saw this morning. And then, excuse me, on top of that, I put on my little cowboy boots. And they swayed too. I was like, hell no. I done got all of this. What's that green moss on them? I was like, ooh, girl. Ooh, girl. Oh, guys. So the kids called me up and said, Mom, where would you like to eat on your birthday? So I said, I don't know. I chose, like, the Cheesecake Factory because, you know, everybody got to work the next day like my birthday falls on a Thursday so we got to work the next day go and have something to eat and um, then go to work you know I'm like oh my gosh so I, I'd be running into this young man I grew up with well he, he's my kids them age well he's funny guys I was like boy you bad you wrong and stuff I'll tell you when people grow up man I'm like, oh my gosh, just to see them. I think they were like 11 and 12. I had did a video, gave a, a Halloween party once. I made my kids costumes and everything. They were so cute. One was a Dalmatian and one was an Indian. And um, they was running around. <laughs> Pulling my daughter's tail because, you know, I put a tail on it. The costume it was so cute and funny. But it was, oh my gosh, to see them now, they was like, ooh, probably... I want to say 9, 10. Yeah, I want to say that. They were youngins. So now he's all grown up, got four kids. His oldest is 16. I was like, wow. Like, it's amazing. I was like, oh my gosh. It's just amazing to see them grow up. And it was all good, you know. He's so funny, though. I was like, oh boy, you, ooh. Stop it. Especially, you know, after a long day of work and then to be able to laugh. It is something. You understand what I'm saying? I tell you no lie, guys. Because, you know, I be trying to get my numbers up. Because, guys, they called on me like, yo, I'm struggling. And, you know, yeah, it's a new job. I'm going to be struggling. I'm still learning. But, I tell you no lie. Uh-uh. Some things could be simple and some things can be a stumbling block. Depends on who's teaching you. So I started just keeping my time and recording it, you know. Like, okay. You feel me? Because I feel bad, you know. But I'm doing my best. Put it like that. But I would like to get my numbers out. I say, if I can just... Without incident, I think I can push out almost a batch. A batch is 50. Well, I won't say like 50, I can process 50 applications yet, but I could say like, I can get my numbers up close to them right now coming in the door. You feel me? I'm just like, uh, maybe like, what's wrong? Sometimes it be me, sometimes it don't be me, you know? Sometimes you can hit the wrong button and it's like, uh, back to the drawing board, guys. Back to the drawing board. Let's make this picture right, Picasso, okay? 
But other than that, guys, you know, something we got in the jar. So I'm having, um, um, I won't say it's a language barrier, but it's, it's like an understanding barrier because the immigrants, you know, people from the other countries, they don't understand the new requirements regarding the IDs, how, you know, they have to have this, um, like a federal ID. They, it's called a real ID, you understand, as opposed to a standard. But they're looking at it as in fake. And I'm like, you know what? This is an issue. I can't explain it to them. I'm, I'm struggling. I'm having a problem with explaining it to them because it's not fake. It's a requirement. And with me not speaking the language, it makes it even more difficult. So when we have this meeting, I'm going to bring it up because I think it's very important. I don't. You know, why pay double when you can pay once? It's just like about understanding what documents you have. You understand? And um, we're not organized where you could send a customer to a person who speaks the language. Thank God there's a couple of people that sits by me that speak, you know, Spanish and different languages. And I'm, I'm grateful for that. I have to service a lot of elderly people. So... It's a lot of patience and everything, you know. You're going to be old one day, guys. You got to treat, treat people right. You feel me? If an elderly person could get out and still handle their affairs, work with them. You feel me? They deserve the respect. They've been on this earth long enough. There's no reason to treat a, a person mean. There's no reason for that. Like, you can't even justify that. You know, unless they're evil and wicked, okay, but... You know what I'm saying? Even sometimes then, you gotta just give that to them because they're age, you understand? It's almost like a baby, you know? And yeah, they're older, they're frustrated. And, you know, things, it ain't like when you're young, you can zip, 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 boom, bang, whip. You understand? It's not like that. Sometimes they forget things. Sometimes, you know, it's, it's like in their mind order, they have to do things. And you just gotta work with them. They're our elders. It's respectful. You know, if you're young, I pray to God that, you know, you don't get in a defenseless situation where someone has to work with you and it's like, uh, you know, very just demanding and cruel to you because there's no reason for that. So, I thank God because I, I, I believe he really prepared me. And I mean, he, he really prepared me. I mean that, you know, me being injured and out of work. I had to learn a lot of patience. I had to learn weight. I had to, you know, it was like, it was out of my control. I couldn't do anything. So I had to learn patience. And I thank God because now I'm in a position where it's really patience. I have to, it's one of my most important strengths is patience. Working with people, you know, especially the elderly people, the people who don't speak language, they be like, yo, they be giving me mad compliments, though. And that's a beautiful thing, you know? They give me mad compliments, and, you know, they say they're going to shout me out on Twitter. So, um, I guess that's good. You understand? <laughs> the guy was like, <laughs> you know, thank you. Like, I want to give you, you know, tell your manager about you. And so funny because he was like <laughs> I was like sir the exit is that way like you is not passing no manager when you leave it's like literally you pass the managers when you come in you handle your business then you out the door and we is laughing because you know if you caught the joke it's like okay bye and don't let the door hit you you understand so we bust on laughing it was funny guys you know I, I just am like, oh my gosh, I meet so many wonderful people. It's, it's not a lot of talking on my job, even though I like to talk, and even though the people like to talk too, but it's more processing, and you know, whatever. I was like, you know, work, 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 process, 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 and don't be laughing, too much fun is going on over here, you know, but that's what it is, so very interesting. It's breezy today, guys. Ooh, I can't even get this, you know. Okay, guys, I'm going to let y'all go. Y'all all have a great morning. 
I know I'm gonna find something for us to to, to talk about. But everybody have a good day, you know. Oh, y'all, let me tell y'all about this before I leave. So yesterday, I went in the store and I thought I had some money on my cards, and who, who saved me the embarrassment? The cards embarrassed the sister because my phone was like low. I really couldn't call, find out what was going on. But oh my god, gosh, guys, so. I was in the self checkout and the lady, you know, my card kept declining and then when I called I found out that I didn't have no money and the worst thing I did that I felt bad was I ate some, I opened some chips but I thought my order was gonna go through. I guess that's why, I know, that's why you really never open anything until it's paid but I thought for certain I had the money in my on my credit card. I had zero, zero, zero on both of my credit cards. I was looking in my bag, digging hard for the change. Didn't even have enough change. I was like, oh, Lord, my God. So instead of the lady being like, excuse me, well, you can't, you know, I'm going to cancel the transaction. She's talking to me like, you know, I'm like, first of all, I know I have matured and I know therapy worked. And I have really growed and developed. I know this because the way that lady was coming at me and talking to me, I had to be like, but this is what I did. She had a nerve to ask me, guys, do you have any money? Now, when she's asking me that, I'm on my phone. Okay. I'm trying to see what's going on. You understand? My other credit cards. So... She asked me that. I was like, "Do you ask all your customers that?" No, I'm just and I'm just saying. Do you ask all your customers that? It's like that's very unprofessional and very rude. I reported her too because she was way out of order. And I explained to her boss, you know, I was already embarrassed that I could not, you know, pay for my purchase. But for her to come at me and ask me that question aloud in front of everybody, that was, she just added to my embarrassment. And, you know, she needs some training, <laughs> uh, customer service on how to, you know, work with people. You don't try to embarrass people. I see that all the time. And it be like the people who ain't got shit are always trying to do that to people instead of, you know, empathizing with them and, and you know, being quiet about it because you already see that they're in a situation. So you have to help guide them through that situation and not make them feel as bad as they already feel for not even being able to complete that, you know, matter. So I'm like, all she had to do was cancel the transaction. I know because I am a cashier. And there was a lot of people's cards who declined. But I don't be all, uh, uh, your card declined. You know, ignorant shit. You understand what I'm saying? It's the way you do things. You understand? And that's what I'm saying right there. I don't try to be like, oh, embarrassing people. Because you know what? We all get a turn. As you know, I always say we all get a turn. And that's the bottom line. But I just wanted to tell y'all that. The card was embarrassing me yesterday. As well as the um, the clerk. It was like, girl, bye. <sighs> Come on now. You know, just, it's just how you work with people. And I have superior customer service, guys. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye. I tried to do something, but I couldn't. Bye.